What's up guys, I'm Nathan with Blue Oak and today we installed a Cobra cable system and um, I'm just going to show you the finished product of this Cobra cable system. Um, what a Cobra cable is, is it's a dynamic cable and that means that it can kind of move with and stretch with the tree. That's what it's designed to do. And we install it in situations where we want to support a union in the tree. Um, we don't want the union to tear apart. There's a lot of weight going this way. There's a lot of weight going the other way. And we don't want that to tear back down at the union. But the union isn't bad enough to require a static steel cable, like a very tight, tight union with included bark. We would, we would opt for a static system and use steel cable. Um, this union down in, the, in this oak right here is, is actually a fairly good union. So we want it to be able to move and we want it to be able to keep building reaction wood with the wind. And so we want a cable that will support it in case things get too much, but not limit its movement and prevent it from developing its own reaction wood, which gives it its own natural strength. So uh, the reason we cabled this tree is the homeowner was concerned about a lot of uh, weight going over their house. Uh, you can see the house down there. We also got a lot of weight going out over the, the road that neighbors their property. But um, yeah, this is the finished product of a, of a Cobra cable. It's not meant to be very tight, so I'm able to, to wiggle it. It's got a shock absorption system in here. These ends are spliced and a correct installation involves <coughs> um, inserts which fatten it out on this side. They, you, want, you want the inserts to be installed correctly and you want the chafe sleeves to be installed correctly. I've seen, I've seen uh, people install these wrong and uh, it's not good for the cable or the tree when, that is, when, when, it, when it's not installed correctly. So, But um, anything else? Cabling. Yeah, cabling in general, you might say, well, why, why cable a tree? Why not just cut, cut it back a lot, like pop it? And that's because that is a, that's a horrible practice for the health of the tree. So cabling is a great risk mitigation service that does not involve overly pruning and heavily pruning. It can be combined with, with some correct light pruning, but it's a great risk mitigation service if you need more than just some light pruning. So.